Welcome to Ram Live. Join our product marketing manager, Rick Phillips, as he showcases the latest and greatest that Ram Mounts and GDS Tech have to offer. Now let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome to Ram Live. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Ram High Torque Wrench Accessory. We're gonna talk about how this accessory is used with various Ram mounted components and some common applications where this tool comes in very handy. And we're gonna be answering your questions and comments in the live chat, uh, on the YouTube live chat. So make sure you post on there. We will be responding a little bit later in this video. Or you may be joining us in the replay in which also we welcome you to post your comments on there. We'll be following up as well. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe, make sure that you're signed up for notifications because we'll be posting many more videos like these talking about all the different types of Ram mount product lines and accessories, all the hidden features and functions and fun facts about Ram mounts and all the different products that we make. But most importantly, answering your questions and getting you all the information that you need. So with that aside, let's get right into it. So for today's video, we're looking at the Ram High Torque Wrench Accessory. This is made of two marine grade aluminum components that are joined together with a steel bolt and spring system. So this interlocks with this tooth locking design here. What this does is it wrenches over any RAM D size ball and socket mounting components where it fits over the knob and it gives you extra torque and leverage when tightening down on the mounts to make it extra durable for any rough applications or any environments that are undergoing uh, significant shock and vibration. So when we talk about RAM D size, we'll give a quick recap here on what D size means and a quick overview of the different types of ball and socket components that RAM makes here. So we have different sizes to really just accommodate all the different types of devices and all the types of environments that RAM mounts are made for. Most people will be familiar with the B size that I have right here. This is the B size one inch rubber ball. This is best suited for phones, small handheld devices, GPSs, cameras, small tablets. So just small electronic devices that work well in most environments. And then the next size up we call our C size. This is a one and a half inch diameter ball that will support your larger electronics, your, your laptops, large uh, tablets and iPads, fit for rugged applications and industrial environments. So you can have it mounted, <clears throat> you can have it mounted in a truck, on a forklift, pretty much anywhere. And then the next size up, this is really for the heavy duty equipment for large monitors, large fish finder units and mounts that go onto forklifts and onto boats. So heavy duty industrial environments for large equipment is where the D size mount comes in handy here. And this is the one that we're gonna be focusing on with the Ram High Torque wrench accessory. So I'm gonna put these ones back here. So the practical applications, again, with D size is gonna be your large fish finders. So if you have a large fish finder on a boat, this is the size that you're gonna to wanna to use. Or if it's a monitor or ruggedized tablet solution, which we'll show an example here, going to um, any workstation or a forklift that's gonna undergo a lot of shock, uh, shock and vibration, you would wanna use the D size. So the way the high torque wrench works is this outer portion here conforms and fits around the knob portion. You see it has kind of an S shape to it. So the seats around and it simply gives you the leverage to tighten it further. Now for most RAM ball and socket mounting systems, it simply requires just the adjustment of a single knob to tighten down and you can set it to the perfect viewing and operating position, tighten down by hand, and then the mount is rock solid fit for any application. However, when it comes to the D size, because you are mounting much heavier equipment, we do offer the wrench accessory to help cinch the mount down further to account for those extreme environments. And that's why we talk about environments like on a boat that's going at a high speed or undergoing choppy waves. So having this here lets you simply pull on the handle to tighten it further than you could by hand alone. And that's why you have this tooth lock ratcheting system here where you can pull this out and adjust the direction of the handle to get even more leverage when you're tightening down. So for example, if I have this right here and I wanna tighten this down, I'm not really, I have the handle here, but it's not really giving me the leverage that I really need to tighten it down further. If I really wanna tighten it down further, I simply ex uh, press against the spring to pull the handle out and I'm gonna rotate it in a way where it's gonna give me downward leverage. That's really what's gonna give you the best amount of leverage here. So in a position like this, if I tighten down further, you can see now it's tightened down. And now it's at a point where I can't even loosen it by hand. So we talk about securing the equipment for rough environments, but some people will consider this to be somewhat of a theft deterrence also. 
because now this is in a position where I can no longer loosen this by hand. So the high torque wrench is also more of a key where you need this in order to be able to loosen the mount. So again, if I put all my strength into it, I cannot loosen it right now. If I put the wrench over it, then I can get that extra amount of pressure on there and now I can loosen it and make my adjustments. Now RAM does offer other theft deterrence accessories such as the RAM pin lock security nut and this integrates into the knob portion on here. So we do have true theft deterrent accessories that are used for this but people, some people are satisfied with simply using this as a theft deterrent as well. Both the security nut and the knob are still compatible with each other. That's a great thing about the security nut is even if you are using this theft deterrence the high torque wrench will still work with your application. So everything's compatible with each other there. Um, let's see, so next we're going to show, I'm going to show an example of a true fish finder application. Uh, so this would be a, kind of a real world application that you would see on a boat with the fish finder unit. I'm going to set the D size back up here. I'm going to pull out this fish finder. So what I have here is a Humminbird Helix 15. Uh, so this is a very big unit. Uh, typically, if you're on a boat using a large fish finder, what we would recommend would be anything above 10 inches, anything above a 10 inch unit. So it could be the Helix 12 or 15, the, one of the Solix series or Apex, um, or it could be a Lowrance or Garmin unit. Anything that's above a 10 inch unit is where we would want to recommend the high torque wrench accessory to use to secure that heavy duty equipment down even further. But again, in this example, in fact, I'm gonna pull this, yeah, I'm gonna rotate this around here. Give me the best leverage here. So, um, put this at the right position. Now, as you can see, right now I have the mount in a position where, I'm gonna get this at a better angle, there we go. Um, I have this in a position where I can loosen it by hand. So I can lo loosen this by hand right now. I can make my adjustments, set it where I need, just like that. Now I'm gonna tighten it down. So now it's as tight as I can get it by hand here. And so now if I, yep, so I cannot get this any tighter, but then if I apply the wrench to it, if I put this here, see this gives me the downward pressure. So I'm gonna move it maybe a little more up here so I can have this clearance to go down a little further. I'm gonna put this in a side profile here. Make sure you guys can see it okay, there we go. Uh, so you can see I have the handle up so that I get this downward pressure to tighten this down further than I could by hand. And I'm gonna see if I can go live a little bit further even. So I'm gonna rotate the handle up. That might be too far. Move it about there. And right there. So now it's in a rock saw position. So now this is in a position where I could not move this myself. Um, it's absolutely rock solid. So any rough waves that you're gonna be in, it will not, uh, the mount will not lean over or anything like that. Now another great little hidden feature with the high torque accessory is if you look carefully, you'll see there's a little hole that's built into the wrench. So this little pinhole is used for connecting an additional tool, such as a narrow screwdriver. So this is just a great way to add even more leverage to the high torque wrench by inserting this tool. You can grab onto that tool and use it as a handle to go even further. So I'm gonna see if I can do that right now here. So I'm gonna put the wrench back on in a direction where the handle's up again. This time I'm going to insert the tool. Let's see if I can go even further with it here. So now I'm grabbing onto the tool portion. As you can see, I can go even further with this, just like that. So there's really no limits to as far as how much leverage you can get using the high torque wrench with your D size mounting components. And so I'll set this to the side now. So we've talked about simply using this for heavy duty environments, as well as uh, potential theft deterrence for some people, but also some, many people consider this to be uh, used as a cold weather wrench. And by that, we mean that in cold environments, it can be difficult to apply the, amount of, the proper amount of hand strength to tighten something down by hand. So maybe in typical environments, tightening down by hand is suitable for you, but in a cold environment, it's more difficult to apply the same amount of torque. And so the high torque wrench comes in handy for that as well. So people do often refer to this as a cold weather wrench at the same time. But again, it has multiple, multiple uses and applications. So one more example we'll show you here is for material handling. 
So the two main environments we've been talking about have been for boats and now for material handling going on to a forklift because forklifts typically do not have any shock absorption. So if someone hits the brakes really hard, you need to protect your valuable equipment from coming loose or falling or slipping. So making sure you have heavy duty mounting components is very important to keep everything in place here. So in the setup I'm holding up, we have our D-sized components in the back here with a clamping base that would secure onto, let me see if I can hold this up right. There we go. Uh, this top clamp piece would secure onto the vertical post of your forklift. And then you have your ball and socket system. And then we, what we have here is a display bracket with a tablet dock that then has a bracket coming down and supporting a GDS keyboard with trackpad. Now the tablet here is a Samsung Galaxy Tab Active Pro. There are many other tablet solutions out there, but you can really build something similar to a laptop solution for a forklift, but a much more modular and heavy duty type solution if you have a separate tablet with independent keyboard docked like this. But again, it's important using the D size for parts like these because you're supporting not just the tablet, the dock, the mounting components and the keyboard, but you're also, you also need to take into account the amount of pressure someone could apply to a keyboard, typing on it heavy, um, taking the tablet in and out of the dock, making sure that the, the entire mount can support all of the weight that it's gonna be undergoing. And so because of that, it's good to use these d size components and to have the extra peace of mind using the high torque wrench accessory. So as you can see, I have this loosened up here. You get the mount in the position that you want. You tighten down by hand. Then you can take the high torque wrench Tighten it down a little further. I'm going to move this in a way where I have a little extra leverage. So again, this will give you nice downward leverage. Well, maybe a little more. Let me put it right there. By pressing down, you can tighten it to a point where you could not loosen it by hand. So again, another type of theft deterrence that might be handy on a forklift just as much as on a boat. So great application to keep in mind there. Great use case for the high torque wrench accessory. So lastly, I'd like to address a couple of frequently asked questions about the high torque wrench. First is whether or not this will work on C size ball and socket components. And that is this type of amounting solution right here. Now the summarized version, the summarized answer to that question is technically yes, but we don't recommend it. And I'll show you why right here. So as you can see, the C size system has this design of a knob to it. It's not the exact same, but technically this could fit around the knob and you could still tighten it as if it is a wrench. So it does still function as a wrench in that you can still grip the knob and make your turns. But the reason we wouldn't recommend it is because we really do not anticipate the C size or B size mounting components to be used in a way where you need to require a wrench to tighten it down in order to have a secure hold of your equipment. For something like this, you should really just be able to hand tighten and keep the mounts in place. If you're finding yourself needing a wrench or third party tool to tighten the knob to secure the mount, then there's a good chance that the mount is holding more weight than what's expected, in which case we would instead recommend upgrading to a larger ball and socket size to best protect the equipment. And another reason behind that is the fact that the, the knobs are made differently where this is a high strength composite that's over molded onto a brass insert that makes up the knob versus the D size version here. If you look carefully, you'll actually see there's a brass nut that's built into the knob where it's simply resting inside of a nut pocket. And then you have a marine grade aluminum casting that makes up the knob. So by turning that knob, you're also turning the nut. So by having that separate casting, it prevents any kind of stripping. And so there really is no limit as far as over tightening and using a wrench accessory. Whereas if you are over tightening on the high strength composite over mold version, there is the possibility of, of stripping if you're using additional tools. So we would not recommend it for that reason. So it's good to keep in mind, making sure you have your best connection, not just making sure you have the right accessories to make sure the mounts are tightened well enough, but also making sure you're using the right size of ball and socket components. And we have an excellent customer service team and sales team that can always help answer questions as far as a given application. Uh, sometimes it is a little questionable, uh, maybe sometimes between B size and C size, if someone needs a, which one they need for a specific tablet in a specific environment because those come in many different sizes and weights. 
So it's, it is often in a per instance basis where we'll make a recommendation based on uh, what it is you're mounting and where you're mounting it. Second question to address that some people have asked is, will this work on our E-size components? And I'll pull up the E-size here. So I mentioned the B, C, and D. I did not talk about E yet. This is the largest RAM mount that we make. That is a, or the largest double ball mount that we make. Uh, many people will see this and think that this is not a real product, but it is indeed real. It's very, very heavy compared to the D size mount next to it, which is already very heavy. The only known application that I know of for the E size version would be for military use, like mounting into tanks and Hummers. Um, but most often, people are just fine with the uh, with the D size here. But to answer the question of Will the high torque wrench work on the E-size version? The answer is no, but at the same time, it's not necessary either. So if you look at the E-size knob, you'll see it has a similar S-shaped design to it, but the handles come out a lot further. And so it does not allow for the wrench to seat onto the knob in order to make your additional turns. But because the handles come out longer, it really makes for a dual handle knob here. So if I'm tightening this down, I can't do it because this is not hard mounted to a surface, but you can simply grab onto each side of the handle. So having two hands to tighten it down is all that's needed for securing any uh, mounting equipment or any equipment on your E-size mounting components. So to recap, just to kind of summarize with everything we've gone over today, the high torque wrench is really just a great accessory for any RAM D-size mounting applications. I almost always recommend it because if someone is mounting something heavy enough that requires the D-size, there's a good chance that they're, they're using this premium size for a reason. And so just to have the extra peace of mind to keep this secure um, is a great way to just make sure your equipment is well protected no matter what environment you, you're in. You don't have to worry about whether or not you've tightened the, down the mount well enough because that's that could be potentially an, e an easy error for someone to make where someone can tighten this down and it feels tight the way it is. So you would think maybe you don't need to tighten it down any further. So it may not be a matter of the application requiring the wrench, but the wrench does also offer the peace of mind where it's, it's kind of a reminder to make sure you're fully tightened. Because if this is part where it may seem tight right now, but if you give it enough pressure, it could start to lean. And so someone can tighten it down and think that it's just fine the way it is, but then the moment it's being put to the test and is up against the elements, it may need to have been tightened down further. In which many cases, hand tightening is the solution, but also in some cases where you need to go beyond that, that's really where this wrench comes in handy and just gives that extra peace of mind. So that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode. I do wanna thank you guys for joining us. Uh, make sure to, once again, hit like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell and sign up for notifications so that you'll be notified of all the other videos that we cover. We're gonna answer all of your questions, whether in a live stream chat or in the replay video. So if you are watching this in the replay, be sure to comment with any questions and we'll be following up with you. But I do wanna thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Thank you.